Hi, John Twist, University Motors, H-type carburetor. Dick Gregory's called me a couple of times, not the Dick Gregory you guys remember, but another Dick Gregory, and has asked me how to center the jet so that when you let the piston drop, it clunks like this. But I want to show you how to do it. First of all, let's take this guy apart so that we can see the individual components. First of all, off comes our spring here on the side. Right, then out comes our split pin, and this guy drops away. Out comes the jet, off comes the adjuster nut if it comes off easily. There's our adjuster nut, our adjuster spring. Then we use our half inch British wrench, 7 16 Quitworth, uh, or half inch British, whichever. And we'll take off our bottom nut here and shake out the top jet bearing. And here on top of our top jet bearing, we have a washer, the top, the top jet bearing itself, and underneath the top jet bearing, we have a piece of cork, which has already been in there, a piece of cork, and a, a brass uh, washer that goes up against the cork, another spring, we're going to push the other cork out of here. There we go. And here we have our, our other piece of brass washer and our other cork. And that all fits inside this assembly here. And around that, there's a little washer here. Around that goes this uh, washer here. And this guy. So we have all, all the pieces here and we're going to ask Danny to shut the camera off for a minute. I'm going to reorganize this stuff and we're going to put it together and center the jet. Well we got it disassembled and you can hear the piston hit the bottom of the bridge. It makes a nice audible clunk. All right. so let's go ahead and assemble this guy up. While the camera's been off we've been soaking the cork gaskets with oil. We'll put that in here and put our, our one washer in on top of him. He's set to go. Now down inside our bottom jet bearing, we'll put the jet in, put in a cork seal, put in our brass washer, put him on. Then we're going to go ahead and get our spring in the top. Of course, now that I've got that in place, I forgot to put our washer here on our bottom jet bearing. And now we'll get our top jet bearing. Here's this assembly and the washer that goes on top of that. So this guy's all set to fit into here. Now we're going to take our, our gland washer and gland nut here at the bottom. And the cork that goes in the bottom. Slip him up here and start to tighten him up. Now what I do here is, is tighten this all the way up. snug him and if we drop the piston now you can see the piston no, no, no longer falls to, to the bottom that's because the jet is dragging on, on the side the needle is dragging on the side of the jet so we're going to loosen this guy up so he's loose okay. You can hear him. All right, so he seems like he's centered. We're going to crank down tight on him. Okay, we are centered. Absolutely. Now we're going to go ahead and pull our jet out and not rotate it. Not rotate it. Put on our adjuster spring, our adjuster nut. We can spin this guy down. This is 3 8 British. Well, easy for me to do. Okay, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That gives us an initial setting. 
Let's put some oil on our jet. Put our jet up here. Bring this guy around. Put our three sixteenths clevis in place. A nice little brass split pin, and put the spring on here, and we are all done. Now this guy works and the jet is centered. If the jet is not centered you don't get a good mixture and the car runs crappy. Okay, So that's the scoop. Hey I don't know if you guys could hear me over that one yesterday making the gasket, making the paper gasket. We already got somebody that wrote to us and said paper gaskets in California are so thin they're no longer suitable for gasket material. So go, go to Napa and buy some gasket material. Anyway I'm going to be in uh, uh, Tampa, Florida, Glenn's MG service uh, at the British Motor Trade Association convention in um, uh, next weekend. Today is the 12th, so that must be about the 20th. And if you have any questions about that, just go on the website and look. Either go to Britcar.org or go on to Glenn's MG service. But anyone who's anyone in the MG trade will be there next weekend. Hope to see some of you guys there. Until later, we'll catch you.